the Pennsylvania State University College of Earth and Mineral Sciences Department of Energy and Mineral Engineering presents the Electrochemical Laboratory Instructional Video for Cyclic Voltammetry and Corrosion Studies Equipment and Materials For this lab you will need Polished Platinum Working Electrode A Platinum Counter Electrode A glass frit calomel electrode. A glass multi port reaction vessel. One molar aqueous potassium nitrate solution. 6.4 millimolar potassium ferrocyanide and one molar aqueous potassium nitrate. You will also need a computer to communicate to the bipotentiostat, a working electrode module, and a bipotentiostat. Experimental Setup Before the experiment can begin, the platinum electrode must be polished. Start by placing a small amount, about 3 milliliters, of 0.05 micron alumina polishing compound on a piece of filter paper. Taking the electrode, gently rub the electrode on the polishing compound, moving in small circles for about a minute. When this is done, rinse the electrode off with distilled water and clean any remaining residue with a chem wipe. The reaction vessel must be clean prior to use and when solutions are changed. Begin by rinsing the vessel by adding distilled water and swirling the liquid inside a few times, pouring the waste in a designated container. After rinsing the vessel, place the vessel on the base and secure it with the clamp. Rinse out the funnel with distilled water into the waste container and dry with a Kim wipe. Place the funnel in the center port and fill with the desired solution. First, the potassium nitrate solution will be used for the background scan. The same rinsing procedure will be used when replacing the potassium nitrate solution with the potassium ferrocyanide solution. To turn on the bipotentiostat, flip the power switch in the lower left corner to the on position. The red counter electrode lead connects to the red CE port. The yellow working electrode lead connects to the yellow K1 port. The other end connects to the red port on the working electrode module. The reference electrode is connected to the bottom socket with a gentle push and turn. Remove the reference electrode from the storage solution and place in one of the end ports of the reaction vessel. Next, insert the counter electrode in the opposite port and connect the alligator clip on the red counter electrode lead to it. Connect the polished platinum working electrode to the working electrode module by screwing it into place at the bottom of the module. When all leads are connected to the proper electrodes, press the control source button once to
to switch the source from panel to external control. Experimental Procedure To take a background scan with the aqueous potassium nitrate reference solution, raise the clamp while holding the reaction vessel until the working electrode is immersed in the solution. Then raise the bottom plate to support the vessel. With the reaction vessel now in place, move to the computer and load the PineChem software. Check the bipotentiostat settings and readings, making sure they match those shown. The bipotentiostat should be in normal mode and the front panel voltameter should display the working electrode potential, E1, which should confirm the K1 electrode is idling near 800 millivolts. Choose the experiment menu option and select analog sweep voltammetry. Adjust the settings to match those shown. Click on perform to start the measurement. The cyclic voltammogram should be relatively flat with no significant peaks. If the plot is not fairly straight, the electrode should be polished again and the background scan should be repeated. If the problem is not solved, the cell or electrolyte solution may be the problem and should be cleaned or replaced. With the background scan complete, replace the potassium nitrate solution with the potassium ferrocyanide solution and repeat the experiment. Recheck the bipotentiostat settings and readings. The bipotentiostat should again be in normal mode and the front panel voltameter should again display the working electrode potential E1 which should confirm the K1 electrode is idling near 800 millivolts. After the second experiment has been completed and the data has been obtained, it needs to be exported for analysis. Under the file menu, click export. Only the E1 and I1 data is needed. All other boxes can be unchecked as shown. When graphed, the data should look similar to the plot shown.